Hi, it's Liana with the Serendipitous Life. So today I'm going to be planting some onions, or rather I should say I'm going to be replanting some onions. So back in the fall, I did some onion seeds and they were doing great. I also did some garlic at the same time, but my lovely dogs decided they needed to get into my garden and lay on my onions. They didn't damage the garlic, but they sure did damage the onions. Let me show you. So here's that onion bed. As you can see over here, I didn't do a lot of garlic. I've got some elephant garlic here, as well as some regular garlic here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and get this all evened back out. I'm gonna dig a trench for some fertilizer. And I got some onion sets that I purchased. And those are gonna go in there. So here's the onions. I got three different kinds. These are short day onions since I live in the south. You want to do long day onions in the north, short day onions in the south. And if you're in the middle, they have something called intermediate day onions. And it's just basically the onion is going to grow the bulb according to your day length. When the dogs were laying in this bed, they dug holes and just really made the, the ground very unlevel. So I'm just kind of spreading this dirt back out. Um, so I can have a nice level surface. I'm now digging a four inch trench in roughly the middle of this bed. Inside the trench, I'm going to put some fertilizer. This fertilizer is gonna to help to keep the onions fertilized throughout the process. I'll be redoing this every three weeks to add more fertilizer to keep them growing big. So this is what I'm gonna fertilize with. It's ammonium sulfate. And I'm gonna do a half a cup per linear foot. This bed is roughly about eight feet. So I'm gonna do a little less than a half a cup. I misspoke. It was actually a half a cup of fertilizer per 10 linear feet. So that's why since the bed is eight feet long, I'm gonna do roughly about a little less than a half a cup. I used part of that half cup to fertilize the garlic as well. I just dug some small trenches in those areas and I already covered those up. Um, garlic takes the same type of fertilizer as onions. For the actual onion sets, I dug two trenches on each side of the fertilizer trench. The trenches are about two inches from the wall and about one foot in between each row, as well as one foot from the fertilizer. Now, once I'm planting the actual sets, I'm gonna put those in about every four to five inches. Be patient with me. I'm just dividing up the onion sets to get them into the ground. When you get your onion sets, if you're not ready to plant them right away, it's a good idea to go ahead and take them out of the box and just put them in a cool, dark place until you're ready to plant. In general, you want to make sure that you um, plant them within a few weeks of getting them. There we go. So some of them are really tiny. I went ahead and implanted them. I'm hoping that they'll come out, but I'll just watch them. And if they're a little smaller, we'll let them go a little bit longer. I ordered these onion sets from Dixondale Farms in South Texas. They're a great little company and I just had to give them a try because I've heard so many good things about them. Now, if you go to their website, they tell you when to order your onions so that you can plant them at the right time for your zip code. Also, I'll be placing a link to their um, website down, in, down below. I ordered their sample pack for short day onions. Now in this sample pack, it includes a Texas Super Sweet, which is supposed to be the sweetest of the onions they carry. There's a Texas Early White, which is a very easy to grow sweet variety. And then I ordered the, and then it came with the Red Creole, which is a nice storage onion that has a more pungent flavor. And it will last six to seven months, which is perfect. In general, it takes three to four months for onion sets to fully mature. 
that's putting me around May or June for these to be ready. Hopefully that means these onions as well as this garlic will be ready about the time it is for me to start making spaghetti sauce and salsa and start getting all that canned for long-term storage. Now I'm just going to cover up my little trench of fertilizer. In a few weeks, I'll come back and I'll sprinkle some more right on that same area so we can keep this going. I'm gonna place a little makeshift fence around these onion beds so that the dogs don't keep trying to get in and lay on them. So here I have a full bed prepped. The last bed was only half the bed because half of it was garlic but this one I'm gonna do the full bed and you'll see I've got the fertilizer down the middle and then I have two rows that are gonna go there and two rows that are gonna go here when I ordered these onions it came with a sample pack of three so I did one type of onion over in the other bed and then I'll have two different types of onions over in this bed I'm also gonna put a fence around it as well to keep the dogs out of it all right, got everything laid out. I'm gonna go ahead and put them in the ground. I just wanted to see what my spacing was gonna be. All right, so I got this bed all planted and I got the fence around it. Looks good. So I'm just gonna come in here and give it a nice water and we'll do every three weeks, we'll do some more fertilizer. So sometime around late spring, early summer, these onions should be ready. And I'll know they're ready when the green part of the stalk starts to fall over. Then that tells me that they're ready. Um, so I'll just keep fertilizing and keeping it watered. And then whenever I see that they're about ready, then I'll stop watering for a couple weeks before I pull them up. And then we'll let them cure. And I will bring you back when it comes that time. So if you haven't already, please hit like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. And Elliot, what do we say? Congrats! Say, God bless our mess. God bless our mess. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.